Hey guys, Spooky Squid here. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I'm going to show you some of my favorite fall palettes. So stick around. So for this video, I just rummaged through my palettes and pulled out some of them that I think will be perfect for fall. And maybe this will actually make me use some palettes that I haven't touched in a while. I have a lot and I keep buying them and it's a problem. So I'm just gonna try to use what I have right now. So yeah, let's get started. So the first palette that I wanna talk about is the Orange You Glad by ColourPop. And that's what it looks like on the inside. And I think when I got this palette, I was just like really hyped up about their monochromatic collection and I was trying to get them all. Obviously I didn't get them all, but <clears throat> yeah, I've used this a couple time, but I'm just not an orange person except for like fall. So I think I will try to make an effort to try to use this during fall. So the only thing that I don't like about this palette is it has a stupid pressed glitter but sometimes I use pressed glitters but I'm not really a fan of the ColourPop ones but either way it's still a cute palette and I do want to try to use it more since I bought it get my money's worth out of it <laughs> I believe this one is still available pretty sure if it's not out of stock so the next palette on my list that I did use a lot last fall is the Essentials by Violet Voss. And this was actually a gift from a friend and like it's not really a palette that I would have bought myself, but I found myself like reaching for it a lot. I just like these type of colors, like it's all like very much warm neutrals and there are a couple of pops of colors like the emerald and the pink. And the black is pretty good too, so it's really versatile and I did reach for this a lot and I should, I haven't really touched it recently, but definitely make an effort now that it's fall. And I think this will be really nice to make looks for around November. So the next palette is not, it's a fairly recent palette and I do reach for it a lot and it's the She's in Parties palette. It has like a beautiful like plum color story and I have been using it quite a quite a lot. I just love these tones. So this isn't really like typical fall color story. A lot of people when you think fall you think like reddish tones, orange tones, maybe some brownish tones, but I don't know the plum tones like the darker plum tones just make me think very Halloween-y and spooky so and it is the season so I have been using this quite a bit for Halloween looks <clears throat> by the way I'm doing like a whole month of Halloween looks up on my Instagram but yes I love this palette I love the mattes in it like just gorgeous so the next one is another one that I talk a lot about on my channel and it is the Killer Purr palette by Menagerie Cosmetics and it's very like grungy neutral tones like oranges and mustards and like a few pops of green. It just makes me so happy <laughs> and it really does make me think of fall although I have been using it a lot this summer but it is like a perfect fall palette for those who maybe don't want like a warm n neutral color story like it's it's a neutral color story but it's fun like I don't know it's a different type of neutral color story and I don't know I feel like it's very fall appropriate especially with the oranges and the mustards yeah I just really love this palette now this palette I think actually came out last year in the fall the packaging is very like fall reminiscent with her hat and everything like I just really love it and the inside is again like 
you know, you have the mustards and the orange, and then you have all these like nice shimmers here, and I really like it. It is very reminiscent of, like they're not exactly the same, but they kind of have the same vibe. Like you have that, those greens and those mustard and orangey tones. But I do find that this one is different enough to warrant having both. Um, and like really fall appropriate tones and I really, really do like this palette. It's a little bit smaller than the Juvia's Place regular palette. Oh, I forgot to mention this is a Nomad by Juvia's Place. <laughs> this shade right here is like the perfect pukey green shade. <laughs> I know it's a weird thing to say, but I do really like it. Like, it's just really nice. Another palette by Juvia's Place is the Warrior 2. And it's a all matte palette, and I do really like it. Oh, I think I dropped something on this shade. Shoot. I find this palette like more versatile than it looks. Like I use this shade here as a blush and this shade here as a contour, like when it's winter time, because it, it works well with my skin tone during the winter time. But like the reddish orange tones are just really, re like it's a really, really nice companion palette to like all my single shimmers. I use this palette a lot when I want to use up my shimmers, so I really am happy that I have this in my collection. At first when I got this, I barely touched it, and I was like, I don't even know why I bought this, but I don't know, I really appreciate it now. I showed you an all matte palette, and the next one is a mostly shimmers palette, and it is the Berlin Underground by Nomad Cosmetics, and that's what she looks like on the inside. Yeah, it is mostly shimmers. Um, there's two mattes, well, one true matte, and then there's the black here, which I do use as a matte, but there are like sequin shades in it, but if you blend it out, you don't see them. Um, there are a few satin shades in here, which I really do like, and I love their formula. Um, it's so buttery and smooth, and like the color story is just like a murky, grungy, dream like i love this one so much and i do find reaching myself for this a lot more than i thought um especially for the black like i think this is my favorite black it's it's so dark and it blends really easily so i love this palette really happy i have it and i already reach for it a lot but i think with fall coming. I'll probably reach for it a little bit more. Who knows? Now the last palette on my list is also my newest palette and it is the Nomad Cosmetics uh, Carta, Cartagena Mahika palette. Wow, I totally butchered that. I'm really sorry. But this one is brighter and it's like, I don't know, it's like just bright warm tones which is like perfect for a bright fall day um i really like how i don't know if i can bend it more nope i don't want to break it but i really like how um the color story is so concise like you have like all your pinkish purpley shades down here and then all of your orangey shades up here no it's fine and then like all your yellowish tones up here and I don't know it's so pretty and I can't stop using it like I love it so much and it's perfect for October again like I, I've been using this a lot for uh, some of my Halloween looks and I don't know I just love it so much like the shimmers are so gorgeous like this one here Eris, Eris El Mundo here it's just Like, look how shiny it is. It's so gorgeous. So, I've mostly been using it for the orange row, but 
I need to dive into the other rows too. But anyway, that was my last palette. And uh, I am going to try to use these palettes for the fall. Like, I have been doing like a fairly decent job. Like I, like I said, I've been using the She's and Parties palette and the Katadena Magica palette a lot for my Halloween looks. But yeah, a few of them have kind of fell on the wayside like these two. So I'm going to try to make an effort to use these two a little bit more. But yeah, let me know in the comments what you think and if you have any of these palettes, what you think of the quality. Don't forget to like and subscribe as well. I post every Tuesday and Friday. And thanks for sticking around. I'll see you next time. Bye.